Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. My name is Karen Hashik and this video is part of a collaboration with Maiku and our theme is flowers. I will have a link to Maiku's videos video in my description so you can watch her video after watching mine. If you are new here, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Collaborations are one way for us smaller YouTubers to grow our channels and we do appreciate every visit, comment, and every minute you watch our videos. I am sharing a new to me version of an easel card that features floral die cuts and a floating sentiment. I learned how to make this type of easel card in a blog post and video at Melissa's Creations and I have a link in the description to that blog post. This Roses Thinking of You card was the first one I made and I love the effect of the sentiment appearing to float in the see-through card front. So it lays flat like this and then you stand it up like this and um, I know you're looking from the top. The uh, words kind of float in there. You use acetate in the front. I um, stamped on the acetate with my Tim Holtz stamp, travel size stamp platform, but did find that part a little bit hard and that it wanted to smear even after a long time drying. Um, I did use an archival black ink and um, it did smear a little bit but not, not too bad. I cut out some Altenew uh, roses and layered them on the card front. Um, with a leafy flourish die from Cherryland Designs. The inside rose and the leaves were stamped with a Kitchen Sinks Kitchen Sink Stamps multi-step rose set and raised on pop dots to hold up the floating easel. So you can see um, that it folds flat to mail and stands up and there's like a floating image in there. This is the card that I'm creating for you today in this video. Again, it lays flat to mail and stands up with a floating sentiment in there. Here are the supplies that I used to make this card. I used a uh, Hello My Crafty Friend die from Cat Scrappiness. I used an older um, flower, it's called Bashful, um, Daisy dye from Penny Black that I still love. I have um, stitched a Bloom Trio flowers on there and this is from Poppy Stamps. I'm using my favorite um, stitched rectangle dies from Lil Inker. Um, I like them because they have stitches on the outside and the inside so no matter what piece you use it's stitched. And I'm using a new um, Ranger detail blending tool. Um, I actually did this in advance, but um, what I really like about these is if you just add, want to add just a little color, instead of pulling out your bigger blending tools, um, these are just perfect for adding just a little bit of color. Um, I saw these at um, Creativation and, and knew I wanted to get a hold of those, and I recommend them. I cut a top folding A2 sized card, 11 by 4 and a quarter. <clears throat> I also cut two other pieces of green cardstock, 5 and a half by 4 and a quarter. I cut, I die cut a stitched rectangle from Lil Inker out of the front of all three pieces. So this is one. Um, and um, again, I, I love the look that you get those stitches. Um, this is the second one. And on the one thing that I found hard to do is when we were trying to line these three um, equally um, pieces up, some of the parts were showing. So on the bottom piece of this one, I just trimmed off to those to those stitches. And so um, when it comes to lining this up to put it together, I had an easier time that there was a little less paper there. If anything shows on the outside, we can trim it off. But if anything shows on the inside, it's harder to do. The um, top folding A2 card base was also cut with that uh, rectangle and then you simply fold it up 
half at the halfway mark and we're going to attach that floating card front along there. Um, I also put a piece on the inside that was five and a quarter by four and that part um, I figured you don't need to watch me um, gluing some of this stuff down so I got that done in advance. This is a piece of acetate that is five and a quarter by four and I'm going to attach that between the two great green frames. The floating sentiment, um, I decided to cut one for a crafty friend. And when I made the first card, I glued that on. So that was the part that I kind of had a hard time with. If I stamped it and wanted to smear, even if I waited a long time, or even if I used good archival ink. And then um, when I decided to use a small die cut, I used my favorite glue, but no matter what I did, a little bit of it still leaked out and was visible on the acetate. So then I decided, and it was a much better idea, to take some of my um, score tape, my thicker score tape, and put it on a piece of yellow cardstock on the back. And then I die ran that through my die cut machine and I lifted that piece off and attached it and it attached beautifully there's no um, leaking glue um, so um, that is something that I forget to do but that was a great way to attach that um, delicate die cut to the um, acetate so I am going to attach acetate to the back of the front piece and then I am going to put these two pieces together If any of it sticks out and I have just a little bit sticking out on the top, it's easy to trim on the um, outside to get rid of that. I folded this up and um, now I'm going to attach the floating easel part to this. It would be easier to do laying that flat, I think. <clears throat> so you can see we have created our easel. Um, I could trim those sides off a little bit um, with my scissors. I have um, die cut the Penny Black's Bashful Daisy out of green and yellow and I again I added a little ink to that. Um, I'm going to attach this with micro glue dots. That is my favorite size um, when it comes to uh, attaching things um, that are this small. more and one on the bottom that I'll fold up. So the micro glue dots hold it firmly and they don't show. I'm trying to get that 
to lay flat. Um, I have put some um, stitched flowers that I have die cut together out of yellow and orange pattern paper. This one had some words on. This is an old one from Stampin' Up. Um, the middle size is what I'm going to use on the center to hold the easel up. And I have put, um, I use my pop dots and then I also use the outside edges when I want a thicker uh, thing to pop up. So um, I've applied um, pieces of pop dot higher thicker material to pop that up. Um, I like to add a glue dot in the center so that um, it sticks down on the center and then those sides will stick stick up. Okay, it's sticking to my finger. It's very, very sticky. <clears throat> so I want this about here, so I'll put that there. The center stays down, but the um, flowers stick up, and that's going to hold that up. I also have a larger flower created um, with those same stitched floral dies, and I want this to stick up a little bit, but not as much as the, the other one, so I just put some mounting tape on these. Okay, it's sticking to my fingers. Come on. And um, this one just won't let go. I am going to put another glue dot in the center of that. one's going to go up here, but we want it to fit into an A2 envelope, so I'm going to move it over a little bit. And then I have one more little one, and I'll put that I had an extra one. Where did it go? Here it is. towards the bottom, if I can get it off my fingers. I have some gems that I'm going to add in the center of the flowers. These are from Doodlebag Design Jewels, and I like it when there's different sizes that you can choose to use depending on what you're putting them on. And then I have some leaves for the flowers. Um, I created these with um, an older McGill uh, leaf punch that came as part of a kit. I looked for it, it wasn't available, but obviously any leaves that you might want to add would be fine. seems kind of big for that one. Let's put it on the inside. And we'll 
use a couple bigger ones on the big flower. And our crafty friend floating easel card is done. It folds flat to mail and then stands up with a floating sentiment for a unique and fun version of an easel card. Thanks for watching, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And be sure to click the link to watch Maiku's collaboration flower video too. We both love to share the joy of creativity.